Chris the Carpenter here with RocketBrandStudios.com with a new epic, epic new product. This is an LCD with an Arduino based controller on the back with a whole bunch of other features and snazzy new stuff, all named after cheese. Cheese, you say? I contend that cheese goes with everything, and so does the Feta Duino. Why Feta? Because ain't nothing better. Well, possibly cheddar, but Feta's still pretty good. Now, let's go over the fine features of the Feta Duino. The first thing is this is not an LCD with a controller on the back. This is a full-fledged Arduino board that happens to have an LCD on the front. So, LCD controller right out of the gate, of course, okay. You've got an Atmega 328. You've got yourself a 256K EEPROM on board. Perfect for data logging, perfect for holding your preferences or user settings if this is being used in a controller of some kind. You've got your contrast adjustment. You've got your backlight for the LCD off of the Arduino. Uh, you've got your six pin standard programming header, power coming in. Now power, I wonder how your batteries are doing. Well, I can tell you how your batteries are doing because with the Feta, du Feta Duino, ding, Feta Duino, Feta Duino, Feta Duino, onboard battery monitoring, battery monitor circuit right on there. Uh, volt regs, five volt reg and a 3.3 volt reg built in. Now. You're going to probably plug in a whole bunch of accessories into this thing, because you can, and you're going to need pins to do that. So we left a whole big mess of I.O. pins available for use, and we also we left the good ones. Like for instance, I2C, I2C, uh, nunchuck controllers, I2C, great fun. Uh, Blinkum lights, any of the M thingum stuff, I2C. Real-time clocks, also I2C. Well, we've got I2C lines broken into a four-pin header, data clock, power ground, and two of those are 3.3 volts and one of them is 5 volts. So you've got all the flavors of I2C you ever want. SPI, you might want to use this for a clock, you need a real-time clock. Well, SPI pins are available. Uh, maybe you want to use a... A rotary encoder for a knob well we left both of the interrupt lines available as well so uh, so you get a gobs just gobs and gobs of IO pins but only the good ones uh, bull rigs EEPROM there's a big bright blue LED on the back this is cool too but uh, but Chris that couldn't be all no but wait there's more oh is there more of course there's more yeah there's an XP on the back Ting! Boom! XP on the back. XP on the back. XP on the back. Alright, I told you it goes with everything. It's like cheese. It's the feta duino. Cause ain't nothing better than feta. Goes with everything. Yes, it does. Let me give you just a few examples of what you can do with the fine feta duino from Rocket Brand Studios. Number one! Everybody likes transmitters. This here is a transmitter I made myself. This here is a uh, slightly smaller version that will be available in about a week from RocketBrandStudios.com. But this is a transmitter, and you got everything you need. You get your joystick, you got a couple pots, you got some buttons there. I even have a connector for a nunchuck controller so I can do a cool two-handed thing. And uh, all built around the Feta Duino. Now, a lot of you folks know that I built a CNC machine, <clears throat> and CNCs are great. Mine actually is a 3D printer as well. This is the print head. Uh, for the 3D printer, it has an extruder, it's got an element, it's got a heat up, a little temperature sensor, and it has a stepper motor that does the uh, extruding of the extrusions. Now, I need a controller because my CNC machine runs off of Mach 3, so I need a standalone controller. What am I going to use? Well, just like cheese, it goes with everything. It's the Feta Duino. This is wee little Walter the robot. Now, uh, little Walter is actually not too little. He's huge. He weighs, um, I don't know, 40, 50 kilos, and he uses gigantic motors. Now, these motors draw an incredible amount of power. They use an incredibly large motor controller, and I like to keep an eye on those motors. So what am I using? Well, I will tell you what I'm using. I am using a Fettaduino. As a matter of fact, 
the reflow oven that's used to make the Fettaduinos is itself being controlled by a Fettaduino. So in conclusion, the Fettaduino, it's the next latest greatest thing from rocketbrandstudios.com. It's, it's just like cheese. It goes with everything. If your kids don't want to eat their broccoli, just put some cheese on it, man. And if your robot isn't working too good, just put a Fettaduino on it, man. It fixes all your problems. Data logging, robots, transmitters, receivers, control panels, displays, clocks, anything you want to do. This, this is not an LCD controller. This is a full-fledged Arduino board with an LCD on the front and an XP. Did I mention the XP? It's got an XP. Ting! So, uh, rocketbrandstudios.com, rocketbrandstudios.com, that Arduino. Get one today.